Hi guys, this is Lachette from Scarlet Moon Creations, and I'm back. This is day two of the 12 days of the Yule Challenge. So before we get into what today's prompt is and what I'll be showing you, links in the description to um, how you can learn more uh, about what is going on in Palestine and the world on Gaza, the genocide of the Palestinian people, and how you can keep up with, with what is currently occurring by following Palestinian press and people on the ground, and also links to ways you can support them by writing letters to your senators and uh, congressmen if you are in the United States, but also ways you can donate, getting food, water, electricity, or internet access to the Palestinian people. There are also links in the description to how you can find out more of what's going on in the Republic of Congo and the basically slavery in the mines there that um, are run by Western businesses in order to extract minerals and materials for our electronics like phones, laptops, etc. And ways you can help them, particularly the children who do not have access to water, shelter, food. Please do go check that out. Today is, I believe, sharing decorations and or altar. And if you can't tell behind me, uh, we'll be kind of doing both. Well, I mentioned in the previous video for day one, decorating is part of the tradition for the winter solstice time of year, but um, in particular, my altar, my coven does have a winter solstice ritual that is somewhat related here. Um, it's very a, a thin thread um a stretch if you will to say that but it is um and so in my mind when I do set up um the decor and the altar for the season it is the start to that ritual so let's let's turn us around and Show you what is currently here because it, you can't tell. I've got like autumn decor and looks going on. Alrighty, I'm gonna show it all because this is uh, my kind of vow to myself, if you will, of being natural. And it is what it is. Sometimes there's crap on the floor. Quite often there's crap on the floor. Okay, so this. Thing. I don't know if I can get it completely on the camera, but um, I'll show a picture and or footage if I still have it of when I first got it. This hutch here is uh, when I got second hand from my bosses, my former bosses, former tenants. They were moving out and they were getting rid of this. They are the ones that painted it white. Uh, and it's peeling because I tried first hanging stuff with tape and that quickly showed me the paint will come off. Um, I don't think it's sealed. It was just dry painted on here. Uh, so this is like a working altar. Okay. Um, I just don't have the space the capacity to have a set altar or a shrine um, that is only for honoring a deity or leaving my spell work just sitting though sometimes I do um, and I have my Etsy shop so I have my stuff 
Well, not right now, actually. I don't have too much work things on here. I have leftovers from work things. But, all of that aside, let me give you an as-it-is-right-now altar tour. So, I've got this uh, autumn leaf string light here. Let me turn off the overhead so you can see it a little better. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. If I mm, show off this a little bit more by turning off my ring light. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so um, and these are hung, just strung up on push pins here. Because, like I said, that's what that was. This is, uh oh, well, they have to come out. Um, it's a precarious thing that I actually don't touch really very much until I turn it off and on. The battery pack is the heaviest part. Um, and this will be coming down because autumn is essentially over. So let me do that. Okay, this here on the side, also hanging from the push pin on the right, is a witch's ladder. That was a gift. And that's all you need to know about that. Alright, this top row here, I'm trying to... I had this hung in a way so it didn't block stuff, but I see it wants to come down. This is why I don't touch it. Okay, so this top shelf is candles. That's it. There's candles. There's a couple of candle holders. Um, many of these are unused. Oh, I have this old speaker, which does not work. I should probably throw that out. <laughs> um, and this, these are, oh, crystals. A small set of crystals um, that I got at a retreat. And I haven't figured out what, to, how... To incorporate them because they're very tiny they're like crystal chips I should say but yeah so like this is where I store the big candles I should say I do have more tea lights um because you know you can get those like 500 in a pack there's some leftover candle wax from some tea lights and I'll reuse that Altar candles, carved candles that I use for various uh, holidays and purposes. Some are honoring uh, the deceased, those who have passed. So, yeah, I remember they're either carved or in some way, shape, or form or color coded. And a lot of seven day pull out candles that I haven't used yet but I have decided on the purpose of so we'll get to that. That's the candle shelf. And this second level here is journals. All kinds of journals. Art journals, junk journals, divination journals, uh spiritual journals for the most part. Um yeah, these two back here are just kind of like art journals, but I don't use them too often. A couple of ones I have not started using yet. Um, but for the most part, these are what I just said. Um, back here, behind the cards in the paper bags, is altar ritual stuff for my coven. And so that's like the storage spot for them. And it's a little precarious right now because I did do a big ritual yesterday and put everything back. And you know how you move stuff and then you put them back where they go, but they, it doesn't stay the way it was originally. Yeah. So I'll get to that in a second. I have incense sticks, which don't really fit anywhere else. Um some miscellaneous supplies here uh i recently got a lancet lancing device for that blood magic because the difficulty otherwise 
Um, and I have four work really aprons. Okay. If you didn't know, let me just uh if you didn't know, I have an Etsy shop where I make all natural bath and body products and that's why this is like a working altar. I do make the incense and oils on this altar and for in small batches, um the bath soaks or bath salts. So I keep my apron here because I need to keep my clothes clean. I keep aprons there. They're just tucked in the corner, rolled up like that. Okay, and then in front here, I usually put the, the cards I've pulled either for the day or the week. This year, I've been doing the Dakin walk, so I've been putting the Dakin cards here. There's a tray with stuff on it behind that. Um, and it just so happens to ha be a nice leaning spot. Uh, as I'm filming this, we are in the second decan of Sagittarius. So, High Priestess, Moon in Sagittarius, Temperance in Sagittarius. And the Minor Arcana card that matches that is the Nine of Wands. These is the Deviant Moon Tarot. I have the other decks that I um, will look at uh, propped up behind it. So I'll just pull down those three cards when I'm done and look at the next ones. It's just to have the visual to look at. And then the altar. The altar itself. Let me pull back so you can see the working space itself so this is the top of the hutch or i don't even know what this thing is called but it's perfect um back here i have more work things a lot of the bases for my baths and scrubs here this big guy here is the sea salt and epsom salt premix for baths and i've got my <clears throat> Uh, measuring cups there that I use just for that. Some Himalayan sea salt here. I've got sugars, brown sugar, regular sugar. I've got, I forget what that is, the name of it. This is an old ritual jar, I think. <laughs> This is me. Um, meal and more sugar. What was down here? I forget. Um, oh, flour. Some old candle. I had a huge set of cups in my old apartment, and I live by myself. And so I did not need 12 cups, but I had these candles. Um, that were basically naked and no candle holders. So I had them in the cups. I haven't used these in a while though. So I should probably do something about that. Um, some cute little oil holders. Bezones and thingies. Incense is what's in here. And... Uh, spell ingredient jars, yes. Random tea light. Okay. From the left, I've got old, uh, essential oil jars. I like to keep these and reuse them for myself. And a little stone gargoyle slash... Uh, protector slash me. Uh, the offerings from the recent ritual I did, I need to go outside and take out. I've got another. These are seeds that I made that I showed in the witchy vlog. So, this is the rest of the pumpkin seeds I made for prosperity for future use. Um, it's kind of hard to show, but in here is a crystal ball. 
um it is selenite and yeah body butter that's left over from an order and i'm just using it for myself um bath salt i think this was libra but maybe it was scorpio bath salt uh that was left over and i've been using it leftover incense for something i don't remember what candles that were from that ritual my chalice which is from the 99 cent store but i i bought one and it matches nothing else in my house so that's what makes it unique and special um i just the day of filming this made a yule log and i needed to i use these old tea light holders um you know what they usually look like to hold space for that and candle i don't know why this candle is down here actually now i do um see it's in the back over there this is just a wood block that i rest my hot things on um normally this is up here my incense a small incense holder this is another stick incense holder inside that was gifted to me i'm very grateful for that my snuffer um got this to pick up charcoal briquettes with lovely bell lighter old athame that i don't use i'm still trying to figure out what to do with it this was an add-on with this guy here which is a tarot card holder um i will put on the screen and in the description who i got it from they're a small business and it has a little candle holder spot there so there's a candle there I uh, this is some kind of evergreen essential oil they included as a freebie in my order on the card holder again part of the deck and walk is uh astrological so i have my astrology cards up here this is the black moon astrology and the arcane what is it called? Arcana of Astrology. I always mess that one up. Cards are behind it. This gives me two different images to look at, but like I mentioned, Moon in Sagittarius, second decan of Sagittarius, High Priestess, Moon, Temperance, Sagittarius. I've got a wand holder here, which is not holding a wand, but. I don't feel like explaining that. And then my altar cloth, which is this black lace fabric. So this was the setup for Autumn. Um, the altar itself, the cloth was for Samhain season. And I'm going to mention over here because I also include this area to decorate. You see this as my background. Um... In a lot of my front facing videos where you see my face, there's the chair and the mess underneath. And what's down here is Tarot and Oracle cards. I've got a box that holds some very personal offerings. Uh, there's candles back here of various types. These two sat on a windowsill in a very hot summer and warped and I'm still I never got to use them I'm keeping them because I'm like I don't know what to do and there's got to be a way to fix that right tell me there is okay this is my flash I have various uh pagan necklaces here I've got an oil lamp and more candles I switch out the big candles that I burn around my apartment and room um often for the season so i will store them otherwise here on this second level in the front more tarot and oracle cards and batteries for some reason um another 
spell box where I'm not sure what exactly I'm keeping in here these this was made by a friend and I will always cherish it these candles were inside I took them out I don't know what's currently in that box though there's a giant ass candle back there and some uh, cookie cutter things. Autumn decor. Back here are my old bullet journals. This is where they go uh, or where they've gone so far. I don't know that after this year I'll have any more space. And then this is kind of a free for all up here. Um, cords and batteries and my toothbrushes for cleaning um this is honestly where i put a lot of my small electronics like the chargers for my phone and my cameras and my headphones kind of chargers for my headphones i have this really cool witchy hat thing that matt hatter and i love it I use it for decor when I'm not wearing it, which is more often than not. My offering bowl, another big, cute, witchy hat, felt, and some background for my product photos. My old clock is up here. That's what this is. Anyway, um, also on the altar here, I've got this lamp. Which has no shade. It gives a lot of light <laughs> that way. Um, and then on the other side, also light giving is this lamp of a different kind. A candle um, thing. And I love it. I need a new big candle. Okay, at the top is more storage. So this bag is the body butter bag. This is where I keep all my shea butters and almond butter. I'm not almond, almond, almond butters. Um, shea butters and cocoa butter and jojoba oil all in here. Some room sprays. And spray. Uh, well, they're empty now, but these bottles I use as for to make room sprays and just magical sprays that I use a lot, some cleaning sprays, a Mary Meat sign that uh, was given to me when I moved into my first apartment, my thingy, uh, some bowls and stuff, yeah, just storage. So, then we have, last but not least, down here. So, it does get messy. Um, quite often, if I'm tired, I will take my clothes off and just drop them right here. Um, the... <laughs> I'm not going to show you, but the laundry bag is just to the right. Just to the right. But, it happens. I also have this kind of crafty thing. So, we're going to ignore that for now. But, um, the reason I'm mentioning all of that is because, please don't fall, there is a door down here. And this is a big reason why I wanted this. Because this is... Uh -huh, okay, I did put, um, some stuff away. Um, ritual oils. I've got oils in, uh, what do you call it? Infused oils. Infusing and this case here is where all my essential oils go i also usually store um like magical waters that i collect to use for rituals and stuff like from the river or moon water or lake water i usually put them on top of here as well um oh i do have some sea water in this water bottle because that's what i had when i first collected it um yeah this is a mix of like personal and product storage here um elderberry tincture and ritual oils i've made supplies the box where my candle stuff are in this box 
is where I keep all my crystals. Underneath that is a shoe box where I keep all of my summer sea what do you call that? Um beach paraphernalia for that. I have charcoal. This side is a little bit stuffed because I stuffed it. Um for the most part it's tea lights because I have like two huge boxes. I kind of inherited some old herbs from my former high priestess. Underneath is other types of lights like chime candles. I mean other types of candles, chime candles, things like that. Over the years, and then on the bottom is where all of my herbs are stored. This, when I first got, was not this full, and I'm getting to the point where I don't have enough room. But this keeps everything out of the light. Um, I keep everything labeled. Some stuff is for personal use and ritual, and other is for. Um, my products and I have different washi tapes so it's not color coded but like print coded <laughs> design coded so I know you know and I keep track in one of my spiritual journals of inventory essentially but like look at us here right this is all separate from like what's in the kitchen though Occasionally, I will go in there, too. Yeah, the big guys are in the back. The ones I use the most are on the bottom and in the back. Like, this is all roses, and it's I got two other things of rose, for example. So, um, what we're going to do... Wow, this took a while. Let's go into hyperlapse. So I can, you can see me do my setup for winter. I have a bag to this side here. Okay, so I have this bag that I keep on the back of my door, my door there, with various seasonal decor that I've gotten from Michaels and um, the Dollar Tree and that kind of thing. And so I'm going to pull out the ones I have for winter and set those up change my altar cloth and we'll come back
so here we are with my altar all set up. <laughs> um, I'm gonna I'm gonna crouch down here. But yeah, my altar space and my video background space area is all decorated. I don't really change anything on that top shelf. Um, it's storage, so don't worry about that. But yeah, um, that is it today for me, guys. Uh, let me know what you think. You got a little altar tour and changing. Um, I do have a like cleansing type ritual for when I do change my altar. So, but that is mine. And uh, so you only got like you only got a quick glimpse of part of it. But yeah, I. Hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you change your altar uh, for the holidays? Do you decorate your space, your altar differently? What do you think of my hutch thingy here? <laughs> Let me know. I'm curious. But uh, I think this is the first time I'm really sharing this on the internet. So enjoy. Guys, like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you are new. Hit the notification bell so you know when the next video is coming. Links in the description to everything I mentioned in this video. I will not have links to my supplies because nothing is really like out of the ordinary. And... They're cobbled together, gifts, and dollar store and Michaels type things. Um, a lot of the candles have come from candle supply and candle stores. Other than that, kind of mostly generic, but mine and meaningful. Um... Uh, so the links down below will be about uh, Palestine and the Republic of Congo, as I mentioned earlier at the beginning of this video. Do check that out. Also, a link to my Instagram and Twitter accounts if you'd like to follow me anywhere else. There's also a 10% off discount code to my Etsy shop that's specific only for my YouTube watchers and subscribers so I make all natural bath and body products for witchy and mundane purposes so if you're interested do check that out it's a little late for Yule winter solstice Christmas gifts but uh we're just getting started for Valentine's Day if you're looking for something for that, a little love, self-love, familial love, romantic love, all of the above. And guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.